All right, so let's talk about mics. A shotgun mic is probably the one mic you need if there was only one. I love my shotgun mic by Audio-Technica. Shotgun mics are directional, which means that you have to point them towards the action, which is nice because you can point them away from sounds that you don't want to hear. And they hook up using an XLR cable, which is basically lossless, so you have the best possible audio quality. Shotgun mics are great for Foley. You just point them towards the object interaction, you can follow someone's feet, point it towards a door being closed, a button being pressed. So shotgun mics vary quite a bit in length, and the longer they get, the more directional they are. So they really pinpoint in on the sound. So if you have a very distant actor that you need to record, or if you have a really noisy environment, and you have an actor doing something, you want to capture what they're saying or what they're doing, a really directional mic is handy for that. However, mine is pretty short, because I work generally with ensemble casts, with large groups, so I need to have a range of sound, not as much of a laser pinpoint. So here's where the DIY part comes in. My shotgun mic is designed, obviously, to connect to a standard boom pole, but I 3D printed a converter that goes from boom pole to broom pole, or painter's pole, or whatever. So if I need to, I don't even need to bring a boom pole with me, as long as the house or apartment that we're filming at has... Uh, just a normal broom purchased from Walmart, I can use that as a boom pole. And broom poles and painter's poles are way cheaper than a fancy name brand road boom pole. Other thing that you should definitely consider is a bump resistant housing of some sort. Uh, the one I'm using is basically a hollow cylinder with four rubber bands around it. So when your audio technician is moving and running around and shaking the pole all around, uh, that absorbs the motion and you don't hear it in the mic. So you can make your own following this link here, or I just bought mine for about 10 bucks. If you've done any searching through YouTube, you've probably seen the Rode mic is the most popular shotgun mic for film. There's ones that attach to your camera, there's ones that are independent, XLR hookups. Uh, but personally, I asked around, did some research of my own, and the Audio-Technica that I have is quite a bit cheaper and has a roughly comparable sound quality. I can't notice a difference myself, so that's something to consider. Now the next type of mic I want to talk about is a lav mic, also known as a lavalier mic or a lapel mic. I'm actually wearing one now, that's how you're hearing me speak so clearly. It's a pretty good mic, it was only about 20 bucks, and it is also by Audio-Technica. So what does a lav mic have to do with Foley? It's good for recording character motion and action, especially if your actor is very distant. You can hear clothes rustling, you can hear breathing noises, uh, you can hear fast-paced motion, it'll pick up footsteps sometimes. It's incredibly useful, but it does plug in through a 3.5 millimeter jack into my H1 zoom recorder, uh, so it does degrade the quality a little bit. Well, all right, ladies and gents and others, we are done for the day. Please like, rate, and subscribe, and if you're interested in watching more of these, new microsodes every other day, and new full episodes every other Friday.